Howdy tubers, welcome back to the Zach Life. So to add to the list of things that I've done, not to say I'm good at, but things I've done, today I'm gonna to build a radio tower. <laughs> so I've done a little bit of experimentation with some SCADA systems, uh, you know, uh, remote controlling things and uh, data acquisition type stuff. And I've had really good luck with it. I've got a, I've got sort of a test, uh, a test thing or whatever, a test lease that I've got set up. I've had running for a few months and bought some software and uh, works pretty good. Just some basic tank monitor leveling, tank level monitoring, <laughs> some tank level monitoring and some uh, uh, pressure readings and a few things. And uh, I've also done some experimentation in the last few years with uh, with cameras, and I've had really good luck for me with the cameras. Uh, they seem to really help me out. You know, when it rains or something, it's muddy, you can't get to where you want to go. Uh, you could just get on the computer and look at a camera, look at a well, look at a side, and make sure you know that it's running, make sure nothing's leaking on the ground. You know, there's stuff like that, and uh, and it saves you having to mud in there or ride a four wheeler in somewhere or walk when it's raining. I used to have, so what I had originally, uh, it actually had been up here, my, my dad did it a long time ago, there was a piece of two inch pipe that went up probably about 25 feet, just about head high above the shop. And uh, I've taken that down and I'm gonna build a radio tower. Uh, we're gonna try to go 45 feet or some something along those lines. I don't know exactly how it'll, I'm not gonna cut pieces of the tower off, but whatever it works out to. Uh, I've got a montage from yesterday. So this tower, there's, I've got five pieces over there. You probably can't see it. It's right on the edge of my yard over there. Uh, but the pieces just stack one on top of the other. I got bolts that go in them. My plan is, is to put about three pieces up and then I'm gonna bolt it uh, with some kind of bracket. I'm gonna have to rig up. That's why I've got the piece of the trim off the top of my shop there. I'm gonna bolt it to the structure of my shop. Instead of running guide wires out and have guide wires in my yard, I can go up that you know, it's probably 16 or 18 feet or whatever, whatever it is right there, the peak of the shop. And, uh, and then I can go up. Uh, this stuff is supposed to be good for 30 feet above your, your last tile point, whether that be the ground, you know, this 30 feet, this standing or, uh, you know, 30 feet above your top guide wire. So I'm going to back the bucket up over there. I'm going to do as much of this can as I can out of the bucket truck without having to without having to uh, climb it, but I'll have to climb the end of it. I'm thinking I'm just gonna stack a couple pieces a day. I'm about out of daylight. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. Um, that piece is what's seeming in the ground. You can see the top of them are kind of swedged down. Uh, and we'll basically just pick the top piece up and set it on uh, the lower piece. like that
Okay, so I think this is about 16 feet. Uh, that's 20 foot of tire, but there's like a couple feet in the ground. What I want to do here uh, is this, this is a piece of purlin that goes all the way down the shop, the 10 screw to in this here. I want to cut this 10 back. It'll be covered by this piece of trim. And I'm going to take a piece of channel iron flat bar or something and weld it uh, here and here and here and here and here and here, all across here. And it comes straight out with a piece of two inch pipe to another piece of flat bar. And I'm going to bolt this tower to that, basically that piece of pipe. And this will be, uh, make this really rigid where I can go from this point up, I can go 30 more feet. I'm not going to show the welding. It's hard to run a camera up here in the bucket. I put one on the ground, but the footage doesn't come up very good. I'm going to get that done and then I'll catch you tomorrow or the next day or whenever I get that finished and we'll uh, finish putting this tower up. Okay, welcome back. So I got, uh, I took a piece of tube and tube, a quarter wall square tube, and might have been 3 16 and, and welded to the, to the frame from about right there down. It runs at an angle. And then, uh, and then brought another piece into it, welded it all out with 7018 and brought it straight out of the building. Uh, and then took a piece of angle iron, run across there, you can see with a couple of U-bolts. That works really good, that's super stout. Uh, and that makes this tower uh, rated from your last tie point, like right there. Uh, thir you can go up 30 feet in 100 mile an hour winds and blah, blah, blah. I don't remember much about it. But this rule of thumb is you can go up 30 feet past that. So, um, I went ahead with the bucket truck. I put the top and one more section on it was just like the rest what a big deal and i've got the last piece to put on it's actually shorter it's eight foot and that's going to make what's sticking up above the building about 30 feet there might not be quite two feet there uh, maybe 29 feet and so right now we are like eight feet 18 28 38 feet to the very top i don't think i can quite reach the top and i've got to get this piece up here I probably could have done a little bit of research and figured out the right way to do this. I know this is actually how they build towers. They just climb it and build it as they go. And they've got some kind of deal, because I've, I've heard it talked about. i got a friend that does this for a living. Uh, that's sort of like what I'm going to rig up, but it's, I'm sure, more, more kosher. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to get in the bucket and go up as high as I can, which is just pretty much all the way up. I think maybe about a foot from the tops I can reach. I guess you're going to see in a minute. And I'm going to take several hose clamps. I'm going to hose clamp this piece of conduit to that tower. And then I've got a piece of sash cord here that has unfortunately been rained and sunned on for a couple of years. I hope it's strong enough and doesn't break. And I'm going to run it up through this block up and then back down to the ground and tie on uh, to this piece of tower. And I'll be limited on my height. I'll probably have to hook onto it. Like maybe about right there and then i'm thinking i'll be able to get down here on the ground and winch that piece all the way up there get it up where it needs to be and then i can uh and then i can climb the tower or maybe ride the bucket up and just climb the last few feet to uh to get up there and, and get it and get it set on there i have climbed telephone poles i'm not scared of heights i've never been on a tower i'm not really excited about this uh, but i do have a climbing belt i don't know if i'll put it on just for that little bit but then obviously when I get this done and have to crawl all the way to the top to put my antennas on it, I'll have to put my belt on and everything and tie off and actually, and actually climb it. So, let's do it. Went ahead and tied one end of my rope to the, uh, to the piece over there. Just to kind of give me something to anchor. I hope I've got enough rope. It's a pretty good ways up there. Um, I don't know how much of this I'll be able to record because my hands are going to be full. But we'll see what happens here. <laughs>
don't think my rope's long enough. I'm kind of starting to think I might be an idiot. <laughs> Well, now what? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that's the sketchiest thing I've ever done, but it's probably top 10. The problem was climbing it wasn't that bad and there's two, two problems. One, I've climbed telephone poles and you usually leave that strap around your middle loose and you lean way back off of it. I was scared to do that on this, I don't know why, but uh, I was kind of afraid that the, that the thing might bend if I got back away from it or something, I don't know. So I had to make it up while I was up there. And then when I got up there, the top piece was about the right height, but the one of the legs that I didn't notice was bent on that top piece, and I couldn't get it to start over the bottom piece. And so I hammered on it, pulled, and I didn't quite get it all the way down. It lacks about that much being where I could get the bolts in it. It's far enough on it's not gonna fall off. But uh I, I just had to pull I gave it as hard as I could pull down uh, to get it I got my hands all wore out so I'm done for the day <laughs> okay so it's like a week later uh, this was the day last when we just cut off it was the day before Thanksgiving when I crawled up it it's a little bit sketchy the biggest part to me I'm not scared of heights I'm scared of falling I guess anybody's scared of falling 
uh, but that tower moves so much you get up there and after I've been up there a few times I've got I've got several antennas on it uh, there's a one looking this way towards the majority of my leases uh, it picks up well if you remember the uh, uh, I did a video about the uh, the three-phase separator that was built in in the 30s I don't remember exactly the day I've got an antenna on it I got these two talking it's about it's about nine miles I believe uh, that direction and then there's one that looks at one particular lease towards the north and there's a different kind of antenna on the back it's 2.4 gigahertz instead of five that's looking at my office it's just a couple blocks right up there uh, but i'll be able to use that separator kind of like a radio tower uh, most of my leases are within about a mile or, or so of it i've got a, a backhaul to it and then we're going to go out from it I don't really want to get into the to the computer aspect of it because I don't know much about it. I'm barely I'm barely smart enough to take a link like this and IP address it to where it'll work. <laughs> I bought a program called uh, called what was it DAQ Factor or something. It's a data acquisition fact uh, uh, program, and uh, basically I'm looking to monitor some tank levels and stuff uh, to make sure I don't have a water tank that's about to run over. You can also monitor pressures, uh, both on your water injection systems and your in your separators. Uh, and if you have a catastrophic leak, uh, the pressure obviously will come down, and uh, and you can use that sort of like a warning device. Anyway, it's just kind of something that'll help me. Uh, you know, if the the cost of labor is so high nowadays, it's not like it was back in the old days where you could hire a bunch of people. That's um, just not an option anymore. Uh, to make an oil company work in today's economy in today's world and it's just one of those things that's going to allow me to take part of my job and make it more electronic where i can sort of sit down in, in the morning and see over an overview of everything uh, before i go to work on something and uh, i might show a little bit of that at, at a later date but it's just not something i really want to get into here it's not something i know much about i could barely i'm barely smart enough to make the computer aspect of it work and uh, and it's just uh well it's just not something that i'm really that interested in for one thing i just wanted to uh, i just wanted to do his job but uh, anyway i uh i guess i'm about done with this i've got uh, like i say i've got i've got three antennas running uh it's just uh, power over ethernet with three ethernet wires it runs into a little I call it an office though it's not an office of any kind it's inside my shop there and then there is um, a switch and some ether power over ethernet injectors and there's actually buried ethernet cable that's buried up here uh, that comes out actually in my closet in my bedroom and that's where my my the modem and stuff is for my DSL but uh, I guess that's about it appreciate you watching I'm still doing some electrical stuff as I kind of explained, videos might be kind of uh, hit and miss for the next few months. And it takes me a little while. It takes me a couple of weeks to get a video out. So after I get back to it, it'll be a little while before I sort of get back in a groove. You know, it takes a, you got to, you know, video for a week and then edit for a few days. And it takes two days to upload on my DSL. <laughs> but anyway, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you here in a week or two and uh, catch you on the next one.